Hey losers, welcome back to a new episode here at Zero Loser Studio. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 video game beaches that I would personally visit and or vacation on. Before we start, I just wanted to quickly bring up what's been going on for the past 10 days. I feel like it's really important to talk about it. I know everyone's been going through a lot, especially the black community. It's really stressful, it's really emotional. I mean, Ito, he's black. I have black family members, so does Nate, so it's hard. It's been really hard for everybody, and hopefully this video will make you guys enjoy yourself a little bit, keep your mind off of other things for the meantime. I wish I could really say more, but I feel like I'd probably start crying. We just want you to know here that Zero Loser Studio completely supports Black Lives Matter movement, and of course, we support and love the black community. At the bottom of the description box, we will have plenty of links to help donate to the BLM movements and also black LGBTQ plus organizations. It is Pride Month as well. If you guys need to talk about it or anything like that, my DMs are open over at Twitter. Without further ado, let's talk about beaches. <laughs> doesn't love video game beaches they're so much fun upbeat music really really fun platforming or exploring depending on what game you're playing everybody loves the beach number 10 island of Benoi, dead island okay so i know i said we're gonna relax and unwind talk about these video game beaches but i had to bring up this zombie infested island the sea is absolutely gorgeous the sand is just crisp and one of my favorite parts of the island is when the wind blows and you can see the palm trees just smoothly rocking back and forth in the background. So, I mean, that kind of takes your mind off of the zombies that are trying to kill you on the island. I mean, like, look, the ocean is just gorgeous. Like, it's such a beautiful island. It just sucks that zombies had to ruin vacation. This was one of my favorite games to play senior year of high school. Playing it multiplayer was just so much fun. You get to explore so much of the island. And if you haven't played Dead Island yet, I highly recommend this game. Number nine, Los Santos Beach. Grand Theft Auto 5. Los Santos Beach is one of the most realistic beach video game levels I've seen in a video game. It's surrounded by palm trees, the ocean, beach storefronts, and people actually exercising, riding bikes. They even have a pier with an amusement park that you can totally ride. It's actually really, really nice. You can get on the rides and look into the vast ocean and the sunset. Which is kind of ironic to me since GTA can be a very chaotic game. Like in five seconds you can have the police and SWAT team after you. But you know, if you want to chill out and unwind from having a very hectic day of criminal activity, just hit up Los Santos Beach. Number 8. Emerald Coast. Sonic Adventure DX. From the moment the level loads, you're introduced to upbeat music, clear skies, clear ocean, and crisp sand. From there on, you dash past the beach and you explore all the greenery and all the other small beaches along the coast as well. This beach level is also extremely iconic for the killer whale that's coming after you while you dash through the piers. Relaxing, right? Just listening to funky music, enjoying the beach while this killer whale is, well, trying to kill you. Number seven, Treasure Trove Cove, Banjo-Kazooie. Of course, I had to throw in another iconic beach level. Treasure Trove Cove, try saying that three fucking times. It's a tongue twister. Has its own funky beat also. You know, a little tropical remix going on. It's actually really cute. The beach in this game actually looks super good for its Nintendo 64 graphics. Like most video game beaches, it has its own memorable moments. Like the panic attack you get when you meet Snacker the shark. When you literally just one second into the ocean, he just pops up ready to eat you up. You also fight Nipper, this ginormous hermit crab, and then you go inside and then you fight a little other crabs. I don't know. This level is really cute and really fun. There's also a crashed pirate ship that you can explore and collect little goodies too because Nintendo loves wrecked pirate ships. Don't know why. Number six, Cheap Cheap Beach, Mario Kart 8. Oh my god. I don't know what it is about Cheap Cheap Beach, but when I play Mario Kart 8, I have to play on Cheap Cheap Beach. It's just so, uh, it's just so pretty. It's, it's like really bright. It hurts my eyes sometimes, but I really enjoy playing on this level. I know there's not much you can do on this beach since it is a Mario Kart game and all you're doing is racing, but if you're like me, you'll slow down and 
take the environment in. That's what I love to do. Like, I will be last just because I'm so blown away by the graphics and the environment in Mario Kart games. And when it comes to Cheap Cheap Beach, I love taking my time just because, like, the ocean is so crisp and the sand is just so white. And, like, the Palm Beach is just so colorful and it really does, like, make me wish I'm on the beach. So, definitely a top for me. Definitely. Number five, beach. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Yes. The beach level in Donkey Kong Country Returns is literally called beach. Not the beach, but just beach. So the beach level in Donkey Kong Returns is actually pretty simple. It's just your average platformer game. But the one thing I do love about it is the graphics for the beach level. One of my favorite parts is the tidal waves in the background. They're like 3D in the background, so they just come in and out while you're platforming. It's super cute. And a the theme song for it is super upbeat and tropical, just like every other beach level, they all have to have their tropical remixes. But the Donkey Kong theme song with the tropical remix, it's a bop. I like it. And of course, like most Nintendo games, there is wrecked pirate ships in these beach levels. You can totally explore them after you get blasted from the barrels into them and just collect shit like most Nintendo games. Donkey Kong Country Returns is actually a really fun game and I totally recommend playing this game if you can. It's on the Switch, I think. No wait, that's Tropical Freeze, which is another beach game. So there you go. You're welcome. Number four, New Zack Island, Dead or Alive Extreme 2. Guys, what more can I say? fine ass women okay this game is just it's heaven you just you go to a beach called new zack island you pick whatever girl you want to be and you literally develop a friendship with these girls by gifting them stuff like food miscellaneous items and bikinis yes you can gift these women bikinis that you want them to wear and it's awesome. You can also play different activities such as volleyball, I don't know, there's a little butt game, you guys have to like throw each other off shit, and you can also do skeet jet racing. The soundtrack to this game is actually a lot of fun, and this game is actually a lot of fun. I know it's kind of weird at first and ridiculous, but I feel like a lot of fun games have to have some sort of ridiculousness to it, and this game is like up there with it, but it's a lot of fun and it does give you that beachy vibes. Well, it is at the beach, but you know what I mean. It makes you want to be at the beach. I 1000% recommend playing this game, not because of the fine women's, but because this game is iconic and it's fun, okay? Just play the game. I promise you, you'll have a lot of fun. Number three, Isle de Fino, Super Mario Sunshine. Yes, we have another classic beach level game, but though this time, Isle de Fino serves as a hub world to other levels in this Mario game. So this beach level is full of secrets and a lot of little areas to explore, and it's also full of the inhabitants, I think they're called piñatas? No, they're not called piñatas. Pian piantas? Yeah, I think that's how you say it, Pi piantas. Anyways, I just feel really, really bad for Mario because He's just trying to vacation on here. It's such a beautiful island with the crisp ocean, the clear skies. And of course, like always, Peach gets kidnapped. Princess Peach, Mario wants a vacation, man. Listen, if I was Mario, I'd leave her ass. I don't, I don't care. I'm on vacation. I'm sipping margaritas. I'm clocked out. Leave me alone. Sorry, Princess Peach. You can wait. Number two, Destiny Island, Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah. Who can forget this game with their extremely convoluted du -du 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 plot, but one of the most peaceful levels and the most peaceful beginnings is here at Destiny Island. You're just a kid with your other kid friends trying to figure out how to build a raft to get the hell on out. You can also play several activities with fellow previous Final Fantasy characters like Titus and Raka. I think that's how you say his name. These activities actually help you boost your XP points, and I highly recommend doing that before you move further into the game. You can just play the activity as many times as you want, and it actually helps you level up a lot. Not a lot, but I think you can go up to level five. The island also serves as a catalyst to basically the entire series. So yeah, I do have an emotional connection to this game. I had to put it up there, okay? It is, it is my number two. Definitely, definitely, definitely love Destiny Island. And if I could vacation there, I would. I, I, I totally would. Number one, 
Pokemon Sun and Moon. Okay, so I know this one's a little bit weird because Pokemon Sun and Moon, the entire game is obviously based on the Alola region, which is made up of four different islands. These islands, I'm pretty sure the Alola region is inspired by the Hawaiian region and their islands. And honestly, <laughs> I loved this game. I, I don't shut up about Sun and Moon. It's one of my favorite Pokemon games, and I just really, really think the Alola region was absolutely beautiful to play through. You have different beaches you can explore. You can surf, obviously, on the ocean. Who wouldn't want to go to the beach, vacation on the beach, and battle other trainers and capture Pokemon, guys? Pokemon, I personally think, did a really, really, really good job with this one. They changed up the style. They have Pokemon that's like the Alolan region Pokemons. There isn't like gyms, so there's like the kahunas you have to fight. The whole vibe of Pokemon Sun and Moon is just relaxing and makes me wish I was also at the beach. If you haven't played it, Come on guys, it's one of the best Pokemon games and I'm probably gonna have Pokemon fans come at me because for some reason it's not for a lot of people, which is weird, but I loved it, but definitely, definitely play it. Anyway losers, that's all for today. Let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite video game beach or what's your favorite place to vacation in general. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we upload next. Please take care and please be safe. Bye guys.